Alright, hey guys, um, this is John here. Um, so starting this week, I decided not to make lecture notes because um, law checking lecture notes takes forever, and I decided to make videos instead. Okay, so hopefully uh, you guys can see my screen better than what I hope to see. And all right, we'll get started. Okay, so so first of all, I'm gonna start uh, um, running our server. So Python manage .py run server. And then let's go check it out in our local server. So okay, let me make this screen smaller. Okay. So as you can see, this is what we have so far. We just have a basic background. And don't worry if the background's not pink. Uh, that's just something that I like doing. So the background, we have some text showing up. Okay. And this is our admin. So in our admin, we only have two two sets in our query database right now, so you might have more if you want, so actually I'm, just, I'm gonna propagate our database a bit more, so I'm gonna say title three, title three, context, and then don't worry if it's spelled differently. Today and now, today and now, and then I'm gonna click save. So now we have like uh, three stuff in our database, okay? So, um, like to, like uh, last week in lecture, I'm going to, um, use accessing shell because that's the way I'm going to teach you how shell works and you guys can see follow along. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to say python manage.py shell and if you do that now we have access to the shell and we have access to our manage.py and we also have access to our database. Okay, So now we're basically a shell so you can do simple um, commands like print 2 plus 2 or print hello world like basically like a shell but the only difference is now we have access to our manage.py so we can do cool things like uh, stuff we, we can do in our actual Django stuff okay? so we're now actually going to access our models.py through our shell and the way we're going to do that is we're going to first have to import our models.py and then go from there okay so let's import our models.py the way we're going to do is that we're going to say from uh, homepage.models.py homepage models import star okay, so I'm going to explain what this line means the home page dot basically means we're accessing let me, let me make this screen smaller we're basically accessing our home page folder because that's where our models of PY is located so from home page dot models and models this basically means we're going to access the models of PY file and then what import star means, it's basically saying import everything in our models of UIs, uh, models of UI. So instead of that, you can actually say blog because that's our class, because we have a class called blog. Or, but now we're going to say import star because I just want to import everything. So when I did this, now I, am, I have access to all the stuff that's inside our models of UI. So you can do stuff like, um, let's see, blog.object.objects.all. If I do this, now we can access all of our query query sets. So what this means is, the reason why it says blog dot is because we, in our models of PY, we named our class blog. So if you name this something else, you're going to actually say name or whatever name you have, dot objects, dot all. Okay? And objects, dot all, objects, make sure you put an S there. Objects auto is basically a command that Django has, so if you want to act, know more about it, you can go to Django, Django documentation, but we're not going to focus on that. So, so let's see. So as you can see, it's kind of in like a list format, so you can basically do all the things that you do in, in a list. So you can even say blog.objects.all, and you can say zero index, and it's going to access the zero index, as you can see here. And if you want to access this, the first index, you can do one. And the second list you can do two like that. Okay? So now let's say we want to access the title of our zero index. The way you do that, you will say blog.objects.all and do the same stuff. And then at the end, you're going to say dot and then title. And if you do that, you will now have access to your title. And if you want to access context, you'll do that. And if you want to do after, you'll do that. And all these. Um, variables are basically all the lines of code that we've written so far. So title, context, after initial. So let's say you name this wow. You're actually going to have to say wow here instead of title. Um, but don't do that because when you say wow, you're not going to know what that really means. So 
make sure your variables are um, very succinct and so on. Okay, so that's basically what we're doing. So now I told I I basically showed you how to access query set, and now we're gonna actually use it in our um, code and make it display in our homepage or home.html. Okay, so let's open up our um, code in our Sublime, and then let's go to our views.py. So basically, this is this is the views.py we have so far, and now we're gonna start accessing our models.py from views.py, and the way we're gonna do that is kind of similar to what we did in Shell. Except on the top, we're gonna to say from dot models import star, and the reason I said dot models is because um, our models .py is actually located in the same directory as our views .py. Okay, so we're gonna say dot models because it's in the same directory, and the reason why in the shell we said homepage models is because our shell doesn't know where our stuff is located. Okay, so I wrote this line here. Then inside our home function, I can actually say all object. I'm going to name a variable called all object. I'm going to make that equal to um, blog.objects.all. So now our variable all objects is basically all of our query set. And I'm going to say first object, and that's going to be blog, and that's going to be all objects. Zero to the next. Oops. Okay, so our first object is now going to be the zero to the next. Oh, I should say zero actually, because that's a bit more confusing. So zero objects basically are zero index. First object is first op object. Our first, and you can even say zero object title. And that's going to be zero ob object dot title. So now I basically set up all these variables that we can use. And then inside our context, we're actually going to have specified all these things so that we can use our Jinja to access all these variables. So the way we're going to do that is by quoting it, all object, and then colon, all object. And make sure you put a comma in the end, because we're going to be listing more objects. Okay. So now we're going to say zero object, zero object, and first object, first object, so, and so on. Okay, so if you want to name it something else in your HTML file, you can actually say variable here, and then now that variable is going to equal to that um, all object variable. Okay, so you if you can do that if you want, but I don't like doing it because that makes it so complicated because you have so many names for variables. So I'm gonna stick to the good old fashioned um, one variable plus one variable. Okay, so now I'm gonna click save, and then now I'm oh. I forgot to include this one. Okay. Click save, and then now I'm going to go to our home.html, which is located in our templates. Okay, so, um, last lecture I actually talked about Jinja for a bit, uh, and that's basically like the same format we're going to use to access all these variables. So, go to your home.html, and then um, the way we're going to access these variables is by Using a mustache format, so two, um, which I'm gonna call it two uh, brackets, yeah, okay, um, curly brackets. So now, inside this bracket, I'm gonna say all dot object. So now this is basically accessing our all dot object variable, which we've listed in our views.py, and make sure you don't put this line of code inside this style. Um, bracket here because um, that's like the, eight, the CSS stuff and this is the HTML stuff, so make sure you put it here and then I can say oh it's actually underscore so I'm gonna say first object I'm also gonna say zero object title okay I'm gonna click save click save here and then let's um, start our server and see what see what it looks like and make, I remember to get out of your shell, you press Control D if you're on Mac. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Python manage.py run server, and then I'm going to go oh, test it out in our local host. So let's see. Oh, it looks like we made an error. So let's see. Um, yeah, 
see what's happening. Okay, so let's open our Sublime, go to our views.py. And apparently, we have a variable error. What line is it? On line seven. Okay, so let's go to our line seven. Oh, I see. So we actually didn't, oh, right. This should be all objects. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because um, we're using this all objects indexing. Okay, so make sure you do that. Okay, so click save, and then if you refresh it, it should be all good. All right, there. So now, as you can see, all these things are popped up here. These are all query reset. This is basically all objects. This is the first object, and this is the zero object title. So if you want to look better, I guess, uh, you can put like a, a breaker here. So you can do br, br, br here. Now what that's going to look like is it's going to make new lines for all these objects. So like that. Okay. So this is it. This is what we did so far. Um, if you want to, let's say, access um, instead of title, you can say context here if you want. So you can do all the, all the cool things here. So um, if you want more documentation on how that works, you can go check out the Django documentation online. Well, yeah, that's basically it. It's it's pretty simple how you how you access all these things in Django. Okay, so for homework, um, I want you to guys to just to show me how. Um, show me that you understand how this works. So you can do exactly what I did if you want to. Um, you can do something else if you want to. You can even say context here instead if you really want to. But yeah, um, basically just show me how it works. And I guess one thing that's important is make sure your database is propagated. If you have nothing in your database, this is not going to work. So make sure you uh, manually add some stuff in your database and that way you can see what's happening. So what I mean by propagating is basically just click add blog and then make your own database like that okay? and then click save so if you don't have anything in your database nothing's going to show up so make sure you do that and yeah um, that's it so make sure you put it on the github and then send me the link to your github repository and get it all graded um, yeah that's it um, I'll upload the next lecture soon so I'll see you guys later